what's going on guys, Arax here and welcome back to another video for Sniper Ghost Warrior Contract. It's been a little while since I last jumped into this game and the reason we're jumping back in is because there's recently been a multiplayer update. This was originally supposed to drop end of last year, there were a few delays, but it dropped at the end of last week and I decided to jump back in today and take a look at what it has to offer. I want to give a massive shout out of course to Games for very kindly sponsoring this video. If you guys have missed any of the previous content on the game then by all means you can check that out, I'll link some of it down below. But turning our attention quickly to the multiplayer mode, I will of course for the most part just let you guys watch this match out. But top level there are two different modes and there's also a quick play to basically match make faster. The modes are deathmatch which is standard free for all and team deathmatch of course, team with the most kills wins. So pretty standard modes if you play games like this before. There appear to be, as it currently stands, two maps from at least what we played so far. Whether we were just unlucky and, you know, we kind of got the same maps rotating remains to be seen. But from, you know, our time playing, there were two different maps, one of them being the snowy compound and the other one being this large oil rig platform out of the sea. The maps are heavily split with teams spawning one on each side. Meanwhile, if it's deathmatch, it's a little bit more random on the spawning. Most of the engagement in team deathmatch are typically longer range, usually between like 100 to 300 meters. So, uh, you know, make sure you get your sniping down. Meanwhile, in deathmatch, you do happen to run into people kind of much closer ranges. So, you know, while it is sniper ghost warrior contracts, you may want to consider working with some kind of close range loadout for some of those deathmatch style matchups. So obviously, the one kind of fun thing about throwing a multiplayer angle onto this is that, you know, when you play against AI enemies, they tend to have very predictable move patterns. So when it comes to judging the distance of your shot paired with the wind and stuff, you kind of have that forgiveness window to line up those shots. Meanwhile, when you're working with other players who move kind of erratically, then uh, there is, of course, that kind of skill angle working into it. You have a custom loadout, much like you would in, say, things like Call of Duty. You can also level up and unlock different snipers, sidearms, equipments, and skins. So, you know, there's a fair amount of stuff for you to go after if you kind of want to jump into this. A couple of tips for you guys. You obviously want to make sure that you're not out in the open because, you know, if you're out in the open and someone's got a reticle on you or someone's got kind of their sight on you, chances are you're probably going to take a bullet to the head. So try not to run or walk around too much. You want to try and be stealthy, as is the nature of this game. And, you know, movement is generally speaking pretty easy to spot if you are looking from afar. So be stealthy, be careful, and uh, hopefully you guys get lucky out there. Anyway, for the time being, that's it. Take a look at this. Let us know in the comments down below if you guys have had a chance to jump in and check this out. And this is your look at the multiplayer in Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts.
I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Remember to hit that subscribe button and also click on the little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss my next upload. Also don't forget, you can check out 269 and Paradise Central streaming over on Twitch six days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. Be sure to drop by and get involved. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.